Hello and welcome to you wherever you are. No doubt this is the standout fixture of the round and I hardly need to tell you why. The atmosphere here is remarkable. A genuine sense of theatre, drama. It is akin to the eve of a coronation with the coronation proper to follow after the final whistle. A point would earn them the crown. Easy work for the team that has been the best side in the league this season. Or so you would think. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. to understand how these players are feeling before kickoff. Who better to ask than someone who has been there? Jim Beglin. Well, let me cast my mind back, Peter. Um, the dressing rooms I was in, the first point was not to mess up and make the game harder than it needs to be. So if you can go mistake-free for the opening period of the match, it offers the chance to go at it with one huge collective effort to do what needs to be done. No excuses, no regrets, but you must not trip up early on. So we're up and running. Champions elect, hoping to shoot! Mark with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Yeah, and he knew all along what he wanted to do, and it's a really great instinctive finish. Real Madrid take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Oh, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Benzema. Chance to break. And it's played forward. Benzema. Hatafe has been finding wins hard to come by on the road, none in their last five. Bale, a heavy challenge. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. And here's Benzema. Real Madrid have this frantic spell of games. Fixture congestion always brings with it issue. That. I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back and forth. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well built. So that's two now without reply. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about.
Real Madrid are the standout defensive side of the moment. They've not conceded in their last five. And the weighted pass. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Real Madrid have it back and they can go again. Good spell of possession this, but very little to show for it. Tries to get it forward quickly. Kroos has been on just about every back page leading up to this transfer window. I wonder if there's anything in the rumours, Jim. I think so, he's a man very much in demand and, and not just from any interested party, the big boys will be dipping into their very large pockets to try and prize this fellow away. Now it's Benzema, Benzema wants to play it back. Ah, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and, and just get something in the way. Out to the right. Lofted into the middle. And that's been well dealt with. He's had a go! Straight at the keeper. That's just literally playing into his hands. Battles to win it back. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Marcelo tries lifting it over. Striding, shot a goal! Hoists it forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Modric tries to stroke it through. Bale crosses into the box. Has a hit! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Real Madrid are leading with half time drawing close. No, that's not the ball he wanted. This could fall anywhere! Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Kroos does well there. Alert. Benzema finds himself offside. Keeper sends it forward. Tony Kroos just brushed off the ball there. Bale needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. Benzema is fouled. Well, he stayed down and is in very obvious discomfort here. Forward it goes. Yes. And we've reached half time. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Real Madrid sitting pretty here at half time. 2 0 up. So we're just settling back into this second half. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Benzema. 
Hatafi on the receiving end of some fairly harsh criticism, mainly about the tactical choices made by the boss. Yeah, but he brought the criticism upon himself by making substitutions that didn't really make sense. They added confusion when he really needed cohesion. Audrey Othola did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. And it's Benzema. Gets it upfield. Real Madrid really are almost trying to pass the ball through a brick wall at the moment. You can see the sense of anxiety has, has now shifted to the stands. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. We've got amongst the goals here, and now he takes his leave. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he can feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Cruz with the cross. He turns and goes back. And the shot! Modric usually is so good from that range, he didn't quite connect as he can though. <laughs> Defending of the desperate variety. And here's Casemiro. He's gone for it! to get it forward quickly Sergio Ramos proves too strong there he's looking to get there first oh well played he needed to get that right Bale Ball's come loose, and the chase is on. And back to base. Drives it towards the front. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Marcelo, who does have an assist to his name. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Hoists it forward. Sergio Ramos battles to win it back. Casemiro puts the dink one in. Hoists it high. That'll go straight through to the keeper. Casemiro. Audrey Thola. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's played forward. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Modric has he picked him out danger averted for now crosses it in he's gone for it and hits one oh it looked like 3-0 for sure 
Hazard should really have closed the game out then, and this could come back to haunt him. Going to go down too well with his teammates. Forward it goes. Bale. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Hoists it forward. Uno has a hit! Sticks it away! And what a climax we have here! Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. And Taffy give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Now it's Bale. He gets past his man. Almost there, and the players can feel it. That is it, the referee has seen enough. And finally, confirmation of their coronation. They were the best over a long and undulating campaign, and now they relish the rewards. And now the formal coronation, acknowledgement of the best team through a long, demanding campaign. So much hard labour, and now so great a reward.